right, buenos dias, mis amigos. All right, today I'm going to talk about a comment from William Latham, 9246. He says, I once made a chart similar to this, and it's interesting when you do that, you can see who in this genealogy was alive at the same time. Example, Adam lived to meet Lamech, or Lamech. I also found it interesting that these men were lived a long time until they had a son, only two listed to be as young as 65. I wonder if they aged slower back then. Like Noah was 600 at the time of the flood, but had to have been young and strong enough to build the ark, and I imagine he had help from his three sons who were around a hundred if I remember correctly but yes it's very interesting I would like to hear your thoughts on this if you like thanks and God bless alright so now this to me is interesting as well um, I, I believe in this video here how long from creation to the flood I shared this uh, spreadsheet and um, I just simply went over uh, Genesis 5, which um, gives us exactly how long uh, from Adam to the flood. And to me it's interesting. Now, what William is uh, asking about is this idea that, um, you know, uh, this idea that uh, these were old men when they had uh, their children. And I want to show something here, if I can. Um, when we go, <clears throat> excuse me, when we look at the genealogy, um, for example, when I was doing the countdown for this, from Adam to the flood, I did, you know, did it from Genesis 5, and uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. How do we do this? How do I explain this? And Adam lived in 130 years. All right. So there's a, there's where I get the 130 years, and he begat Seth. So this is my t running total here on the right. All right. Adam lived 130 years and begat a son in his own likeness after his image, and called his name Seth. And then he lived 800 years. Okay. And then we go from. Adam to Seth. Seth lived 105 years and begat Enos. So again, 105 years and then he begat Enos. So I got a running total here at 235. Alright, so that's how we can uh, get it specifically the amount of years from Adam to, to the flood. Now from the flood to Jesus, we can't say conclusively how many years we can give an estimate we can kind of guess by the genealogy but we don't have an exact number all right and it's not a big deal anyway but I want to show something here and we'll go back to Williams comment here I found I also found it interesting that these men were lived a long time until they had a son now, I want you to go think about this. Adam, um, where am I at here? And Adam lived in 130 years and begat a son. Now, that son being Seth, that was not Adam's only son, nor was that Adam's first son. Right? So we know that oh goodness oh yeah I know where it's at. okay and Adam knew his wife and she conceived and bare Cain and said I have gotten a man from the Lord and she again bare his brother Abel and Abel was a keeper of sheep but Cain was a tiller of the ground okay and we can go through this and and see that Cain ultimately left and went off to another uh, another um, place 
I believe. Um, and Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod on the east of Eden. All right, and so, and Cain knew his wife. So his wife would have been his sister. All right, so uh, obviously Adam and Eve had several children. So when we're dealing with this genealogy, we're not dealing with, you know, well, Seth only had one child. And Enos, he only had one child. And, and so on and so forth. That's not the case at all. Uh, this is, I don't know how you want to describe it, but this is just one of many children where this genealogy is traced. Exactly why, I don't know that it's, it, it, it's explained. It's not about the firstborn. It's not about the lastborn. It's not about uh, anything that's described specifically. But the genealogy is there and it is traceable from Adam to the flood. All right, so I just wanted to point that out that just because, you know, for example, it says Seth lived in 105 years and begat Enos, that doesn't mean Enos was his one and only son, nor does it mean it was his firstborn son. So obviously these guys would have had many, many children, and it was a much different world back then, not like the one we're living in today. And so I did this little, I wanted to count to see how many people there could possibly be living in the time when the floods came. <clears throat> and, you know, it's, there's no real way to... to uh, Put a number on it because theoretically after 250 years there could have been over two quadrillion people according to my math and according to the parameters that I set up one child born per year per woman half of the children born are women women begin having babies at the age of 10 all right so those three parameters <laughs> civilization could have built up very quickly and uh, it, it to me it's just strange that we've been sitting on this seven and seven billion number for many years now and I think that's I think because there's a lot of bad stuff going on in the world that's what I think but nevertheless um, you know this doesn't take into account uh, early deaths or deaths I mean, every you know, Adam lived to be 930 years, so he would have still been living after 250 years. Uh, but you know, wars and illnesses and stuff like that is not accounted for. But um, I think it would be fair to estimate there was 25 billion people living on the earth when the floods came. That's just what I'm going with. I think it, it's more than fair. And of course, it was. It wasn't 250 years. It was 1656. So if I, you know, if I want to get real crazy and carry that all up, all the way to 1600 years, that would be it would be an insane number, unrealistic number. But anyways, um, I just want to share that stuff with you. Some of my thoughts. I appreciate William's comment here and. Um, uh, uh, that, all right, that's it.